Meantime, officials at Japan's crippled nuclear power plant now admit some of the radioactive water leaking into the Pacific Ocean is millions of times the legal limit. And they've been deliberately dumping tons of other less contaminated water, too, even while admitting they don't know what the long-term impact will be. NBC's Lee Cowan has the latest developments live from Tokyo for us. Lee, it sounds like all of the alternatives just get worse and worse. Well, they do, and I think uh, really what happened today, Chris, is those those radiation levels that were revealed told a lot. Uh, they did that test really very close to where the water has been leaking out into the ocean. That's where that five million times the legal limit was discovered. That's in uh, radioactive iodine. They also found cesium there as well. And the problem is, is that it, that just shows how important it is to get all that water pumped out of that leaking pit into a different tank. The problem is that tank that they want to use is already filled with radioactive water, so they have to dump that water out in order to make room for this walk. It was news so upsetting that a spokesman for the Japanese utility broke into tears as he announced it. With so much water being poured on the reactors to keep them cool, radioactive runoff is building up. And some of that water is more toxic than others. In order to capture the most dangerous, officials are emptying tanks of less radioactive water by dumping it in the ocean. It's an emergency pump and dump plan that's not ideal, but officials say they have no choice. Compared to the several million times the legal limit that's gushing from reactor number two, the water that's being dumped out on purpose is just a few hundred times the limit. Either way, it means more contaminated water flowing into the ocean, and fears have sent the price of some seafood, like yellowtail, plummeting. We can always eat fish caught last year, this woman said, dried fish. The government has been insistent, though, that the radioactive water is diluted when it hits the ocean, but conceded today that the long-term effects are unknown. Cesium can stay in the environment for 30 years, contaminating the soil and groundwater, potentially making the area near the plant uninhabitable. And for the tens of thousands of people whose homes are inside the evacuation zone, that could mean never returning again. Now, Chris, we should point out today that they think that they figured out a way to at least slow the amount of radioactive water from that leak that's ending up in the ocean. They, they discovered that it was sort of bubbling up from uh, some gravel that was underneath that pit. So they injected some composite glass, essentially, into that. That sealed the water from coming up through the gravel into that leaky pit, but that's still really a Band-Aid at best because the water, obviously, is still going to keep coming. So it's got to go somewhere. But at this point, it's at least not going into the ocean. Chris? All right. Lee Cowan, thank you very much.